Five new underground stations for the city have been pledged as part of the Brumby government's $10 billion transport plan. Dozens of homes are also earmarked to be demolished. With a state election in November, the government's keen to put a positive spin on transport. And joining me with the details, Jacqueline Freegard. Jackie? Pete, the Premier has described the plan as transformational, but it'll cost billions of dollars. And as yet, not a cent has been pledged from the federal government. Today marks five years since my key was announced. And we still, of course, don't have a ticketing system. The question now is, will these ambitious plans ever become a reality? Beginning with a new station at Arden Street in North Melbourne. The underground city line includes stations at Parkville and Melbourne Central. More platforms will be built beneath Flinders Street Station, eventually finishing at Domain in South Yarra. They balance the needs of residents and industry and the broader community as we transform the port and the inner west area to create what will be a new inner city uh, precinct. But there's no money yet from the federal government for the $4.5 billion project. The Premier says he'd like the line finished within the decade. The route for the regional rail link has also been revealed, which includes putting extra train tracks through Footscray. Up to 26 families will be evicted from their homes. That project is one that has secured Commonwealth funding, with work to begin within a matter of months. It's the right plan. We're sticking to it and we are delivering on it. Three options for the $2.8 billion Westlink road tunnel were also announced and the plan to remove trucks from the Yarraville area. The government refusing to rule out tolling what would be the alternative to the congested Westgate Bridge. John Brumby can promise heaps and deliver little when it comes to projects of this size and this nature. Jacqueline Freegard, Nine News. Anxious residents of Buckley Street Footscray are waiting to be told whether their houses will be forcibly taken over by the government. Some say they don't want to leave. Others fear the compensation won't be enough. Brett McLeod's been speaking to them. Brett. Hello Peter, just down the road in Yarraville, residents today have been receiving this letter from Vic Roads warning them that some of their houses may have to be sold to the government for demolition. But here in Buckley Street there's no doubt about it, the government has announced that some of the houses here will be compulsorily acquired and demolished to make way for the widening of the rail system behind me. And during today that's been le leading to an anxious wait for many residents. It was the talk of Buckley Street as neighbours spread the news. They've just heard that these houses are likely to be the one, ones that are going. Oh, these ones? Yes, that's ah. why we're in to see you. Oh, OK. As I said, you were renovating. Oh, shit. Yes, sorry, just... Craig. Norma and Craig's houses are right next door to the rail line earmarked for expansion. Up to 26 houses here will be bought and knocked down. The prospect of being forced to sell the home she's lived in all of her 65 years has left Norma sick with anxiety. It hasn't really sunk in, but the last 12 months, it's constantly upset me physically, unfortunately. Craig says while he's willing to take the money, provided enough is offered, his home handiwork would be wasted. Yeah, yeah. I'm just about to start the kitchen and the bathroom. Yeah. I've just done all the floors and everything. In Yarraville, potentially 21 houses would be compulsorily acquired under one option for the new road tunnel. New mum Natalia says while her house is safe, she doesn't want a multi-lane freeway on her doorstep. Noise, pollution, all those sorts of things, a lot more traffic. And a lot more anxiety for residents wondering just what's to become of their homes. Don't like the way the government has been going about it and not letting us know. Brett McLeod, Nine News.